okay and this is a tour up to the first floor uh, as you can see we are doing a lot it is a building site we have actually got some people in to actually help us as you'll see that is a new door and a new wall and a new room this was literally no room of course it's got to be cleared out uh, the plastering uh, of the joins need to be completed and then this old floor in there are planks underneath here uh, how much they've been eaten by woodworm we don't know uh, as you can see we have treated where the wood is exposed and the beams behind the walls have actually been treated as well uh, there's Marius say hi Marius <laughs> okay so Marius is the DIYer much more than I am I tend to concentrate on the the fields but of course we all muck in when we need to so this is the master bedroom that is actually taking shape as you can see and if you wanted an idea of the woodworm issue that we've had here just look at this beam that we treated as you can see it has been eaten away but these are old oak beams so even though we have taken them right down and taken all the loose wood off and treated they're still serving the purpose so one thing that we have done is we've put new windows in up here and a new window up there the old windows were there that have been taken out it's such a shame really that we couldn't have kept some of the original uh, windows but uh, they were rotted quite badly and leaking quite badly they were actually beyond repair we did look into that see we're having it's called Bazaria. it's basically wood planks that slot into each other in layman's terms and that's going to go straight up to the ceiling and there's going to be a ceiling fan coming down here you'll see that box up there that is for the chimney and that lovely pipe going across there contains the main wires coming into the house uh, so they're going to box that in as much as they possibly can do for us so going into here this will be the ensuite this was just a plain brick wall that the hole has been made ready for the ensuite we are keeping these walls bare this wall and the wall over there and what are they being treated with Marius? Uh, so that's what and uh that's ac acrylic lacquer oh it's an acrylic for stone yeah. oh okay it's for uh, the stone uh, yeah it claims that it's also for bricks so it should be so what are we okay, uh, treating the wood with on the walls the wood with clear varnish with a clear varnish is it yeah okay and the top we continue in to put the box on i guess okay that's so let's have a box. quick look of the ensuite that's being created okay and as you can see there is a little window in place and it doesn't exactly give a great deal of light but <laughs> it's better than nothing yeah. isn't it uh, so basically there's going to be a macerator toilet in here because the sewerage is over the other end of the house which we'll uh, cover in a bit and there'll be toilet, hand basin and shower, and shower in here narrow shower and narrow shower no. well. okay. okay as you can see in an example of the, the woodworm issue that we've had here uh, again this beam has been slightly treated will need to be more treated uh, but the beam looks nice and that's obviously going to stay uh, what that does provide is if we need any sort of equipment over here then that can be boxed in by the front of the actual beam 
Okay, and the other side of the room is the wardrobe. And you've got absolutely very little to no light in here at all. Uh, and this will be the built-in wardrobe. Uh, there is, again, the signs of the woodworm. There's the telltale sign of the dust of the woodworm. But all this will get treated. Here is one of the worst, one of the beams. But the beams tend to be pretty thick, so the woodworm will only go down so far and they will be treated. The beams like this are pretty solid. But this will be the walk-in wardrobe. This is the side of final part of the area upstairs. I say final. This is where all our stuff is oh, being yes, stored. Half, yeah, it's the other half of it. So what's the plan for here? And I know we said this is going to take a bit longer. I mean, here on your right will be back room, yes. Okay. And then there's already a vertical pipe going down. Okay, for the sewerage, yeah. okay. And you yeah, over on the left? Well, there will be a huge room, actually, I suppose. Oh, okay. Or... Oh, that? oh, it's a bird. It's it? the birds. I don't know if you're yeah. down in the background, but we've actually got birds nesting uh, over in the guttering on that side. So uh, this year we've left it. <laughs> where the chimney is. Yeah. yeah. But the, this is where the division wall will start. Okay. And this is like where the passage then is going to go down here, is it? Oh, it's diagonally. It needs to reach this window, which is going to be the window door. For okay. The balcony. Okay. So we're, we're eventually going to put a balcony outside there. That's looking oh, over the old shed, yeah, yeah, eventually. Yeah. Uh, and there'll be a door there then to, to access Great. it. Well, that's upstairs. Um, so this is that. the converted top cellar that we've converted into a temporary bathroom. And WC. And in here is the bottom cellar, which we use for storage. As you can see. And this is where I intend anything we produce, we will store. At the moment, it's always a couple of degrees cooler in here, which is exactly what we want. Uh, the walls do need to be redone in here. That's not a problem. Great for keeping beer cool. This is the passage area, basically the area you come into when you first come into the house. I love these original doors. They're here. They do need some work, but we believe they are salvageable. So we'll be keeping those and basically upgrading them by uh, tidying them up. They do have a few problems on the bottom of the doors, but it's not a problem. We'll be ensuring that we get that done uh, because I want to keep them. And these handles are absolutely amazing. <laughs> uh, and the other side of the handle, which I'll show you, is like that, the old type lock. And you can actually lock the door. This is the main courtyard. As we come into the property, or into our home. So, trying to keep this as tidy as we possibly can do whilst there's building works going on everywhere. It is absolutely beautiful in the night, although this tree frightens the hell out of me. Uh, we have had it topped, because I am afraid that uh, this tree will end up falling one day, because it's not in the best of health and then let's move over to the cottage this is all a very quick whirlwind tour as they say or what will be the cottage this would have been originally a uh, storage and uh, servants quarters is my understanding many many years ago Obviously, it's been changed many times over the years. As you can see, we're knocking the brick off in here. So the plan is this will be a small living room for family when they come over, if they don't stay in the main house. And in here will be a bedroom. A window will be opened up, a proper window put in, and all tidied up in here and replastered. Uh, and it's actually pretty dry in here. And here, apparently, well you can see, is where been, there was uh, an old pig where they stuff. birthed pigs. I'm told. 
you can see there are troughs here and bars. We're going to try and keep some of these original features because this area is going to be uh, the kitchen on one side and then partition walls and still uh, needs uh, to be uh, closed up. And finally then is the original sort of fireplace that was here. That needs a bit of TLC and it'll get it. So we are currently knocking off the plaster in here and then we plan to replaster just about everything in here although the ceilings are not too bad and we go over to the pig barn which is eventually where we are maybe going to have pigs or goats probably the pigs uh, at the moment uh, we've got uh, African swine flu issue in this country uh, so we are limited we cannot get anything yet, so this will all be, of course, uh, tidied up, disinfected, recleaned, repainted, as need be. And this would have been the old pig area that they had many years ago. At the moment, now it's storage. So everything that was in the cottage is over here. And then this room then goes into here, which you have access with a ladder to the hayloft up the top. And then that goes into where the rabbits are kept next door, which would have been originally where the cows were. And that takes us to originally where the cow shed would have been. And they did keep cows in here. Uh, there is a cesspool underneath here where they used to put all the waste from the cows. And of course, you've seen this before. This is where the rabbits are. So they've got These the old feeders currently there. our storage bands. There's one over there, and there's one back here. Uh, on the left-hand side, I'll show you in a minute, we tend to store more for wood. Here, this is eventually where the goats are going to go. But at the moment, as you can see, there are plasterboards everywhere. There is insulation everywhere. And this is the second part of the barn which is the wood barn for the main purpose where we tend to keep uh, the majority of our wood that's firewood and wood for doing elements of fencing around the land uh, we have got a delivery due of some wood uh, because we would use twice to three times this amount as by here uh, just through the winter so we'll probably get another uh, 15 cubic meters as they say if not more of wood uh, around now and that'll dry then until it's needed for the winter time but all this area will primarily be the wood storage area we do have two wells on the property now originally uh, there is piping as you can see there going all around the property in the courtyard area and into the front garden there and into the soon-to-be cottage hopefully and into the animal barn over here we don't have to use this well uh, primarily because the roots of the tree have actually gone into the well the second well we have on the property we've actually uh, enclosed there is a uh, pump with a pressure tank in there because it does actually supply water to the main courtyard of the farm and up to the poly tunnel we do have a solar panel array as we mentioned earlier it's a 4.4 kilowatt uh, array right. us uh, more than enough electricity for our needs we have three main fields on the property the plan is with this field go back to the rear of the bands is that this is where we will have the grazing for the goats and at the front of the property on the first field i showed you is where we're planning that we will have a pig area as well to allow some natural rooting in there from the polytunnel onwards to the solar panels all this will be turned over to veg growing and this is the orchard area 
where the chickens are currently kept. Uh, we have a load of plum trees, cherry trees, walnut, two main walnut trees, and a number of hazelnut trees. Uh, we haven't been so lucky on the fruit this year. Uh, that's because it was an extremely cold winter towards the end and beginning of this year with temperatures down to minus 18, 19 uh, centigrade that is for our American friends who are watching so that was pretty cold even uh, for Poland and as you can see we have quite a large walnut tree that has quite a lot of fruit on it or nuts should I say <laughs> and uh, we'll be looking to harvesting those this year and into what eventually will be the kitchen garden again there is a plum tree i believe or maybe a cherry tree uh, we do have some rhubarb growing already and this is where we have the apples there are three main apple trees they're all bearing quite a lot of fruit uh, but unfortunately uh, it does suffer with the spotting I believe it's called it's a type of rest of fungal uh, infestation so they'll need to be treated in the spring to ensure we get a better crop uh, next year we also have a number of uh, blackberry and blackcurrant bushes and raspberry bushes in this area and also some wild garlic grows i've noticed and thank you for joining us on this tour of magby farm with lyndon and mariosh I hope you enjoyed what we had to show you. That's just a sample of the videos that are going to be coming out in the near future. If you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to press the bell button for notifications. Great. And don't forget, hit the like one if you did. And if you want to put something in the comments section, please do, because me and Marios will answer them as best we possibly can. And that could be anything from the renovation work to the actual farm running itself and we look forward to sharing our next video with you have a great day